วัสดีค่ะ Yeah may I introduce my best friend he is my younger best friend he is a younger best friend and he is a, a big position in the Pacific country may I introduce the Mr. c h a u s e a our best friend from the Pacific country c h a u s e a hello how are you h e l l o l a Hello, l a d y That's uh, hello in my local language. Okay. I'm, I'm fine. It's good to be here in, uh, in Bangkok. Uh, yeah, we are very honored to have you here to visit that at home, and we do hope that uh, in this soon we will visit you at home, at your home too, right? It would be great to actually uh, have uh, some of you come over to the Pacific. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much to give us your time because. Uh, Thai people, and I am sure that even the our friend, our neighboring country in the ASEAN, South Asia, never know about the uh, ICT in the Pacific countries. So I think that uh, today we got an honor, we got a premium opportunity from uh, Chelsea, our best friend, to talk about the uh, ICT in the Pacific country. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, it's, it's indeed an honor for me to be here in. in uh, Bangkok and go to actually meet uh, some uh, good friends. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, about the Pacific, I, I work for an intergovernmental organization formed mm -hmm. by the Pacific countries. Eh? Mm -hmm. We have 22 Pacific countries and territories that actually our members. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, in the Pacific, for those of you who doesn't know, that we cover about a third of the whole world because it's a big ocean area. Right? Mm -hmm. But there's only 10 million of us, only 10, 10 million, million yeah. population. Eh? How many countries? We have 22 countries and territories. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we, we have uh, countries with uh, about 6 million, like Papua New Guinea, about nearly 7 million. Mm -hmm. And we have small countries that run about 10,000 people. So yeah. there's a, but spread over a huge area, an yeah. ocean area. And in, in which particular country that you are from? I'm, I'm originally from a country called Tonga, mm -hmm. uh, but I work in uh, Fiji. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And it takes a long time to get down here. So I fly four hours to Sydney and uh, ten hours from Sydney to uh, Bangkok. Yeah, so all together is 14 hours. Uh, it, yeah, plus the waiting time at the airport, it's uh, like a 24 hour trip. 24 hours trip. Just to come and see you. Uh. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> we, uh, our title is Center or also the Pacific, uh, I mean, Asia Pacific uh, member country must be found and uh, must, must be very. By very proud, right? And then, the, so let us know more about your your overview about the ICT for the in in your um, in, yeah. in our region. I mean, yeah. uh, I, I work as I mentioned in the in the government organization. It's like a, a, it's like ASEAN, right? Mm, mm, it's, mm, mm. Yeah. We our organization provide technical assistance to our Pacific countries, yeah? our mm. member countries, mm. and we we cover a lot of areas. Uh, our website is uh, www.spc.int uh, mm -hmm. in case you want to find out some more information. Yeah. Our role is looking more on, on how ICT can help development. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, with, with that, that's why we're, we're looking at Telecenter because we still think Telecenter is a key area mm -hmm. providing access for the people because there's a lot of people out there who can't afford to actually have computers or internet connections and having a shared uh, communities, uh, you know, set now with computers, we believe is the, the cost effective and the more sustainable way of providing access to the people. And, and from the Pacific perspective, it is important to make sure that, uh, that we have a sustainable connection to the people in the islands and the people in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. So you said that the telecenter is the key so, what exactly, uh, uh, for example, to make it more easy, how many telecenters in, in even Tonga or even in Fiji and in the overview? <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in the Pacific, yeah, uh, there's no, there, there hasn't been any study to actually find out, but there's an upcoming event um, this Friday, which is why I'm leaving tonight, mm -hmm. to actually uh, to start the discussion on actually collecting the information about telecenters in the Pacific. Uh, in, in the Pacific, uh, there are a lot of different uses for telecenters. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, of course, 
families want to contact their students, their, their, their daughters and their sons who go to uh, schools in the main, in, uh, main area, mm -hmm. they want to actually exchange some information, probably use Skype or email, mm -hmm. to keep in contact with, with uh, you know, uh, so it's, it's important for the family. But at the same time, it's also important on the economic side, whereby I know that uh, the Thai Telecent is leading in actually uh, you know, in using IC, uh, telecenters for development, especially social economic development in the mm. rural uh, mm. areas, mm. And, and to a lot of, to, to a certain extent, we learn from what what you are actually doing here, and from what people are doing in Bangladesh and so forth, and actually try and see whether we can actually use it in, in the Pacific. Yeah? Mm. But those, those are just part of it, and then uh, we can talk more about some of the other use of telecenters in the Pacific. But this coming uh, meeting, uh, it's a regional meeting, so uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people from the Pacific countries are coming there. How many countries? Uh, again, we have, as I said, 22 countries. Mm -hmm. The invite goes out to everybody. We have uh, participants from even developed countries like New Zealand, Australia, and so on. Oh, they will also join They're they yeah. welcome to join. Mm -hmm. I also heard that the uh, center in the Australia also very strong. They're, they're very strong because they're, I mean Australia is a developed country, but it's huge. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you still need to get connections to the rural areas, mm -hmm. yeah? and so they have similar challenge as us in the Pacific. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let let me get back to you. Say that uh, your main duty is tied up using ICT for development in the Pacific, right? So what particular issue of development in the Pacific that you mentioned? Because in Thailand or even in the Asian country, is a kind of development is just earn a living or agriculture or the environmental or some kind of. So, what particular development issue in the Pacific? So it's it's more social and, and uh, economic development. I mean, mm. in the Pacific, because we live in a lot of islands, eh? mm. we don't have the infrastructure. There's no road. Well, mm. there's not enough roads or mm. good roads and there's no shipping to actually get people from the islands to the main centers. So, the, I mean, a lot of people, when they, they require uh, some services or some information from the, from government, they actually have to wait for a few days or even oh. weeks to get down into the main centers. But through the use of technologies, they can actually uh, get that service or that information from wherever islands or rural areas eh? using using telecenter as a point to access all the, the yeah. services and information. Okay, great. So meaning that the, the I mean, ICT infrastructure is very accessible? I, it, it's a challenge. I mean, uh. in some areas, yes, but in others, uh, we're still trying to, to develop the infrastructures. Uh. Okay. Yeah. And, that's, and, and getting the connection yeah. there is one thing, but also having a telecenter to provide a means for someone to come and access the service. Yeah? Yeah. You might get the mobiles there or uh -huh. the connection, uh -huh. but someone need to actually access the, the all these services information uh -huh. only for like a computer and the telecenter provide that means to access all the services. Yeah, yeah. So the okay so like the, in, in, in Thailand I think it's also the similar uh, problem in our remote area, you know, in the borderline, in the mountainous area, we also kind of uh, yes, uh, an access, yeah. Yes. So. And, and uh, I mean, for, for us too in the Pacific, because we are vulnerable to disaster, mm -hmm. like cyclones, mm -hmm. tsunamis, mm -hmm. uh, we, we also need to get information and get warnings to mm -hmm. these areas. Eh? Yeah. And, and, uh, Telecenter can be a means to actually educate people about what to do if a tsunami comes or what to do when there's a cyclone. So it can be a means to educate your, uh, your those those people. Eh? Because these people are some of the more vulnerable ones. Eh? Because they're so far away, it's hard to get information there. But having a telecenter, having a connection, can easily provide that information, that warning, uh, that education that people need to actually, you know, mm. uh, make sure that they know what to do mm. when there's a disaster. It yeah. might end up helping saving their lives. Eh? Mm. So, Telecenter can play a role in disaster risk reduction and disaster management. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 
Health Hub is ever initiate kind of telecenter for disaster warning. Yeah. Ever it happened already? Or it, it, it's, it's more for education purposes, so people oh. can actually add, uh, access information and read about what to do and, and, and so forth. Yeah. But there's also some work done to actually try and use telecenter uh, to generate warning or, or, uh, like a siren and stuff like that. That actually warn people that something is uh, it's happening. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, telecenter can provide access to the people so that people can come and find out what the weather is going to be, yeah? what the forecast and all that kind of information, like, uh, you know, advices on, on agriculture, uh, fisheries. Through accessing the information, and, and you can do that uh, using computers in the telecenter. Mm. Have it ever ever do that kind of duty, like a weather forecast or uh, agricultural information, some kind that have it ever done before? Or? It, it, currently, there, there's some uh, some project with oh. technology doing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, like not just online, but also start using mobile phones uh, to actually yeah, yeah. Uh, get information, but also collect information. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, the better information you get, the better the decision you can actually make. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have uh, talked to the APP, uh, the Asia Pacific uh, Telecom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they are also very interested to use uh, telecine like the, the early warning spot of the disaster. Right. So, so yes. have you ever talked? About that, I mean, there, there's a lot of people. I mean, APT is one. I mean, ITU is another one. Uh -huh. SCAP is working on it. I uh -huh. mean, what I think is needed is to actually work together uh -huh. to find a solution uh -huh. that actually is suitable for, uh -huh. for, in our case, for the Pacific. You know? Yeah. Because you are not only going to put the solution there and everything will work. You need to make sure you have the mechanism to support it because. It, for make it to, uh, to ensure it's sustainable, it's mm. going to be a lot better. Yeah, so when you mention about the, the agency that is uh, uh, have the mission about the disaster like the uh, APT, for example like now APT is trying to to do more function about disaster, right? right. So the, if in case that, uh, because right now the title center also uh, got some communication with the APT that hey, why don't we use telecenter to protect some kind of yeah. flood or even the windy or not 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 that cyclone, eh? right. windy is strong wind or something. So the if they ask me because uh, right now the, I'm taking care of the like the secretariat office of the APTN also the. If APT asks me that, hey, what about the readiness of the Pacific Island to to pilot or to implement kind of telecenter as the early warning spot for the disaster? What what your idea is that ready to go or what? I I, I think it it should be a, um, a holistic approach, an integrated mm. approach. Mm -hmm. If you just set up a telecenter as an early warning center. Mm. It may not be sustainable if you're just waiting, leaving it there just in case there's a disaster. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is have the telecenter, not just for disaster, but mm -hmm. also for education, mm -hmm. also for the agriculture, also by actually having the telecenter helping other sectors, mm -hmm. not just disaster, mm -hmm. having an integrated approach mm -hmm. is what we need in order to actually make sure it's sustainable mm -hmm. uh, and for, you know, uh, because you you are addressing the different needs of some of the key areas mm. in the rural or remote islands. Mm. Yeah, that, that I agree. So, so uh, I think that the telecenter might be a leaching point or access point. An yeah. access point yeah. to uh, help yeah. those uh, those yeah. areas, eh? those key economic areas like not only disaster, mm -hmm. agriculture, mm -hmm. fisheries, health, education. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's a means of providing access mm. uh, to all the services, extending the services of government or other businesses mm. to these vulnerable or these rural areas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's kind of community one-stop service center. Yeah. It can be used by like that, uh, yeah. then, uh, that will help in making sure it's sustainable. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because it's uh, based on, on the needs of the community. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Do you have any kinds of uh, community one-stop service? 
in the Pacific Island. Some 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 cases, for example, like here in Thailand right now, we have some cases that turn telecenter to be one stop service. They are providing the community bank. They are providing some kind of uh, uh, early warning or kinds of that. Do you have that kind? Of uh, in the Pacific, we are not as advanced as Thai, and, and that's why uh, it, it, for us, it's it's a good learning experience to see what you what you are doing, mm -hmm. and hopefully we can learn from it and, and implement something like that in the Pacific. Yes, we do online banking, we do all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, and people can actually access and transfer money and make payments eh? as long oh, as they have you. access to the internet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you tell us that uh, how much percentage uh, of the Pacific Island people to access to the internet? Well, the, the latest figures is that we, we have about six countries that actually have, say, uh, mobile phones. Eh? And some of those mobile phones actually can access the internet. Eh? Mm -hmm. Not all, but some, mm -hmm. let's say 10% of those 50%. Yeah. At the same time, we have uh, 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 phone coverage, land phone coverage of about 10%. Mm -hmm. The latency is uh, roughly less than 10%, or about 10% actually have access to the internet. And that's why it is important, mm -hmm. like the meeting I'm here with ESCAP, to start looking at having appropriate policy and infrastructure in place. Eh? So the, you mean that the policy among the Pacific country or...? Uh, yeah, yeah, original policy, but more importantly, that the countries recognize the need to actually have appropriate policy in place. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, uh, the role that ICT can play in development, that, mm -hmm. that is important. Mm -hmm. So meaning that uh, uh, you, we might say that uh, even APT, ITU, UNSCAP, they all the, have the similar policy about a city for the... I mean, yes, I mean like, but they, they are agency at the end of the day. What's important is what the countries are talking about. Yeah. Not what ITU, what APT, what SBC, uh -huh, uh -huh. but what the countries think is important. Mm -hmm. Because that's what all the all this agency, what they're doing, is for those countries. Mm -hmm. They are the beneficiaries and they should be the one saying this is what we want, mm -hmm. this is what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. Not about the, all the international stuff, but what it's going to impact or how it's going to uh, affect the lives of the people on the ground. Yeah, yeah. But uh, as you are the, the manager or the expert of the ICT outreach program of the Pacific country, what exactly the urgent or the most priority of the the ICT for the in the Pacific? I, I see T4T, I mean like the, the main thing is actually having a public policy and plan. Because like I mean rather than doing it in an ad hoc place, make sure you know what you want, that it actually link to your development priorities. And then whatever little resources you have is can be utilized effectively. Yeah. I mean, policy infrastructure is important, and now cyber safety is another key area. Yeah. Because like a lot of people now have mobile phones and access to the internet, we need to have education programs to educate people on how to use ICT safely. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there are very a lot of areas that are important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very happy to to hear that that you talk about the cyber safety because it's it's really challenging in Thailand also. Right? And, and right now in Thailand, uh, our Minister of ICT also has created about the, the volunteer we call the Cyber Scout. Right. Uh, Cyber Scout that uh, the general uh, teenage or even the community themselves take, turn, uh, take their role as a volunteer scout to do kind of uh, monitoring, helping watchdog to do kinds of uh, cyber security. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a challenge wherever, but it's always going to be a challenge. Yeah, yeah. And the, for us, the most important thing is educating people, mm -hmm. you know, what to do and what not to do. Yeah, yeah. Be safe when you're actually using uh, the tail set. Right? Just like uh, uh, health education, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're having similar approach mm -hmm. for using computers. Yeah. So you see that the, my audience, when you look, at both of us, you see, we have similar trunk, <laughs> we have a similar skin, eh, color, and everything very similar. So I think that the Thai people or Asian, Asian people must be very, very happy to know that the Pacific friends are very similar. And then uh, besides from 
20 hours traveling and uh, high uh, costly ticket. And uh, what is the the interest point? Uh, what is the the invitation from the Pacific uh, country that hey Thai uh, Asian people come come to Pacific? What is the tourism destination? What is the uh, highlight product? Like uh, we have the one village, one product, or whatever. What what should be your advertising uh, on well, behalf of the Pacific? No, we were not like Thai. I mean, Thai is always good. I mean, no, I don't the, say that. The, 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 the people are always friendly. There's a lot of shopping here, so you yeah. know, that's always a good thing, especially for uh, yeah. small countries. But like for the Pacific, it's, it's the same. I mean, like, you know, we have a lot of islands, we have a lot of beaches, we have nice people like me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. I, I confirm. I confirm. <laughs> Uh, may I talk to the Pacific friend and our APTN or even the TCF a member, please? Chelsea is my younger friend that uh, actually Thai people, they are very quiet, but uh, they are very, also very shy, I think. <laughs> I don't know, uh, it might be only my generation, the new generation, they are more international. Uh, global citizen there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's because yeah. of uh, yeah. internet access. They yeah. are exposed to more stuff. Yeah, and that then the, a yeah. the most important is uh, I talk to, to the Pacific people, friend, right? Uh, Chelsea is a smart friend and he helped, uh, he helped Thai Telecenter a lot. So, on behalf of Thai Telecenter and on behalf of the ASEAN Telecenter, we are very proud of him. And then the, the most difficult for our Thai people is we are rich of friend, friendship, you know, we are very rich in friendship, but we are not rich in money. <laughs> our cost of living here is very low because our income here is quite low. So the, how possible that uh, we can visit your island? Uh, it's, it's always good. I mean, like, you know, it, it's always a pleasure to coming down here as, like, you know, taking part in APTM. Uh -huh. And then, uh, you know, listening to and, and seeing what uh, Thai Tele Senna is doing. I mean, like the last time I was here, we visited that uh, Senna. Yeah. Not only the computers, but also the, the music playing and all that. You know, mm -hmm. it, was, it was good. I still have a photo of that. Uh -huh. So, that, that, I mean, that whole experience is, is it, it's, it's worthwhile. I mean, and again, it, it's been a pleasure being here and talking to you. and. and yeah. APTM, and then hopefully we can continue, you know, this discussion and uh, you know, learning from our experience, yeah. and then um, and hopefully that will contribute to the success of the Thai Tele Center. In our case, the Pacific Tele Center, uh, from what we learned uh, from Thai Tele Center and APTM. Mm, yeah, yeah, and then the, besides from the uh, the best friendship and the expertise that the. Chelsea has, you know, the Chelsea also one among the policy or the board <laughs> member of the APTN. So, from your experience, what should be the drive of APTN? Not not only to serve the Pacific country and also to serve all the region. I mean, Asia and Pacific. From your experience from your yeah what should be the the way to go well i think it's uh, what we have started is important enough like networking yeah. because uh -huh. so we can learn from our uh, from each other learn from uh, what not to do and learn from best practices and so forth mm -hmm. i think that's very important and the fact that we have that network in place we just need to strengthen it yes resources is important mm -hmm. and, and maybe a joint approach to actually getting some resources uh, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is help telecenters, make it sustainable, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of telecenters fail. So what we need to do is see whether we can provide the support mm -hmm. to actually ensure that, uh, you know, that more of them uh, are sustainable rather than just, you know, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. what's happening right now. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, one question maybe I, I might uh, ask uh, as the representative of the Pacific people or even the 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 APTN people or even the Thai people or even the ASEAN people that how possible if the Pacific people will come as an exchange program with the Thai or others. I don't know. Well, it might be worthwhile, you know, but again, you know, it's uh, it's a it's far away and 
Mm. Might be worthwhile getting uh, Thai people to come over and then exchange program to the Pacific and vice versa. So someone from the Pacific can come and learn mm. from Thai tailors. It's something worthwhile looking into. Yeah. Because I mean, it, it's it's fun to actually talk about mm. lessons learned. But you know, it's uh, I think mm. people actually learn more when they're actually there. You know? Like yeah. they're actually in the Pacific, or we're actually here in Thai, mm -hmm. to actually see how things are done, actually, mm -hmm. and then actually have a hands-on. Mm -hmm. So uh, having an exchange program might be a good thing. Yeah, yeah. And so you guys can uh, come over, spend 20, 20 hours flying over yeah, yeah. to the Pacific. Yeah, so I can tell that the, uh, if in case that the Chelsea or other agency can provide you the ticket, to come to Thailand. <laughs> eh? So among the Thai Telecenter Network or even other Asian countries, we are most welcome to all to come to have the homestay, stay with us. And then uh, that, that would be our honor to welcome you all. And then the, so uh, if in case that the Thai people or uh, our Asian people would like to know more about the Pacific story, how possible that the, how can you share your story from the Pacific friend to let the Thai people see because Thai people has the perception like Pacific people, everyone can speak very well. <laughs> everyone of the Pacific country can speak English very well. Every Pacific people are quite big like you and me. <laughs> Pacific people are very friendly and hospitality some kind of that. Is that true? How can we know more about it? I, I think this is a good start. I mean, yeah. Having this discussion, uh, I know you, you know more about the Pacific, but for your audience, I mean, it, it, it's something that, uh, you know, we need to start somewhere and even go on the internet, have a look around there. There's a lot of information about the Pacific, uh, but regarding the the Telecenter General, I think we should uh, continue having this, uh, this discussion, uh, getting some videos from the Pacific, so we get to know more about what we do in the Pacific. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. vice versa, we can watch what you guys are doing uh -huh. uh, down here in Thai. I mean, yeah. I think that, that but today is a, it's a good, good starting point. Yeah, you know, even big like this, it's very difficult to catch him, you know. <laughs> you just say, Chase me if you can. <laughs> yeah, very difficult to find this smart friend, you know, he's uh, very social. And, <laughs> and my friend here is trying to get me to miss my flight, so. Uh, that's oh my <laughs> god, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's okay, but uh, uh, it, it, it has yeah. been, I mean, like, I, I, uh, I try to make time because, like, I think it's important that yeah, we have yeah, this opportunity yeah. to talk about it so we yeah. get to know more about us in the Pacific. Yeah. And uh, you know, and we get to know more about uh, Thai and uh, Thai mm. telecenters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that the, right now the, we can communicate because uh, the APTN that uh, Chelsea is the policy of the APTN. We have organized the pilot test of the internet TV that we call telecenterchannel.org. So for this channel, so we can see each other more. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds yeah, good. yeah. And then we, that is beside from the website of APC, right? Okay. Yeah, we also have this channel. So uh, I do hope that uh, you, the Pacific friend and Pacific family, uh, uh, head by Chelsea, will provide more story. Right? Well, definitely going to provide more stories. And yeah. I, I think a lot of Pacific people might want to come to the Thai. So yeah, we'll sure. be good to explore uh, you know, some means or to support an exchange program whereby we can to know each other well and learn from each other. Yeah. Actually, Thai people mostly very beautiful. Right? I would say that. Except me. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are very uh, uh, honored to welcome you all to visit our smile land because uh, Thai, Thai people, they have the deep culture that whatever we smile. Smile maybe yes, smile maybe no. Smile maybe Welcome, smile baby, not welcome. Yeah, you're Everything. not quite sure what kind of smile is. <laughs> yeah. it, it's not similar to Pacific. Uh, it's, it's the same, same the kind same, of thing. Yeah. It's a very yeah. similar. Yeah. So just tell me one of your recommend, uh, recommend tourism in Pacific. I think we, you, uh, the Thai covers most of it, but like in the Pacific you can relax and I mean, you enjoy 
the oceans here, we have the same thing. Mm. Except that you have to fly 20 hours or so down yeah, to the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, uh, please tell our friend that the, the cost of living in Thailand can you compare to, to, to less us more visible? Uh, yeah, you know, with the limited experience I have, I'm probably not fair to comment on it, but I mean, we, we uh, one of the uh, things to look forward to when you come to Bangkok is shopping, because we uh, think that like uh, some of your goods are relatively uh, affordable. Uh, uh, so, you know, I, I guess in that regards, it, it's not a bad thing, but uh, there are other factors, of course. Yeah. It's a similar. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, but again, as I said, like uh, shopping here, it's uh, cheaper. Uh, probably cheaper in some yeah. regards, in uh, some yeah. some goods. Uh, yeah, like uh, uh, I experienced among our ASEAN, like uh, Thailand and the Philippines, similar. Uh, but uh, it compared with Laos, that is uh, the next door of Thailand, the the cost of living is quite a little bit higher than Thailand, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, even in Cambodia. So this kind of is very challenging because uh, BBB is so soon to be the global village. Yeah, well then I think hopefully soon we can get a direct flight from Thai to... Uh, I mean like we have direct flight to New Zealand from Thai or you can uh, go to Hong Kong, get a direct flight from Hong Kong mm -hmm. to Fiji. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Korea, mm -hmm. so we, we, there's a lot of ways to get down to Fiji and find out mm -hmm. whether it's more expensive or not. Yeah, I think that better start with direct chip. <laughs> chip, <laughs> chip uh, from Thailand. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the uh, actually the this is I think that I I have uh, answer or the the question that the Thai people curious about the Pacific people. So I think that uh, this. Uh, video will be very, very useful and very uh, interest because uh, in our channel we also have the hitting rate. Yeah, I do hope that uh, your yeah. this video will be, will be under okay. my popularity, uh, right? Well, well the, the other thing is that if you have any question, I guess you can uh, talk to APTN, they can send it to us, we probably can respond. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. maybe in a follow-up program we can discuss some barriers that you think is uh, important to talk about, not just the ICT stuff, but whatever we can talk about about the Pacific. Yeah. So uh, please uh, send uh, APTN uh, into the Thai Telecenter whatever questions, yeah, and, yeah. and they'll let us know, and we'll see whether we can uh, answer it in maybe yeah. the next program. Yeah, yeah. So I think that uh, actually we have lots of things to ask you, eh? because uh, so far to catch you up. But anyhow, the, we, we, we normally uh, discuss online. So uh, actually we have other points like uh, uh, about the movement of the social enterprise in the Pacific Island because uh, our new staff of the APTN, she's also very good in the social enterprise. She's very curious to ask you about, uh, hey, how's going on with the social enterprise in the Pacific country? So might be not time. I don't know because uh, your flight is a bad thing. <laughs> and then an another event that uh, we would like to, to let you talk is about this upcoming Friday. You mentioned that that, that might be the first time of your reunion no, we, or what? No, we, uh, it, it's a meeting of, uh, in the Pacific we have a, a chapter for the Internet Society in the Pacific. Uh -huh. And every year we, we try and organize a regional event where users of ICT come and talk about it. Uh -huh. And one of the sessions there is telecenter, uh -huh. and uh, you know, talking about how to about sustainability, about uh -huh. different experience in telecenter in the Pacific, and uh, uh -huh. and uh, I think it's a good uh, point to actually start talking about you know uh, how we can contribute or uh -huh. or share information with uh, Thai telecenter and APTM. Uh -huh. I think it it must be great if you you say that uh, 24 countries. And then we can have uh, the uh, clip from 24 countries you know, to be the series of uh, Pacific. Uh, I'll, I'll try and actually get yeah. some, uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it might be a good thing to start on one uh, Yeah, that, that would be kind of uh, uh, promote the tourism of each country also, right? Yeah. Sounds like a good plan. I'll talk to the yeah. tourism people about it. Uh, yeah, great. So, because uh, in Thailand, you know, we have experienced that uh, our TAT, the Thailand Authority of Tourism, 
uh, they they are fully support the the all level of the tourism in Thailand. But right now, many many of the the, the tour, tourists they say that I need the the specific community tour. They need specific or uh, niche tourism like a telecenter tourism that organized by the committee themselves or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a great idea and something that we should be exploring in the Pacific. Uh -huh. Because I mean, the, the tourists they also still want to have access to the internet. And that might be a good thing. And then uh, I also the, got a meeting in this afternoon that uh, there is a professor from Japan. He also the working very closely with the APT. He said that he will go to the Fiji maybe next week or next two weeks. And then I'll have already recommended you to him. And then uh, we'll see. It's always good to have a discussion about you see what we can share and how we can help. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think that's the way to go. Uh, yeah, great, great. So, anything else to talk to the no, people? I mean, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure being down here. And, yeah. uh, it's yeah. always good to actually meet up with you and your staff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I hope that this is not the end, but that's the beginning of a continued uh, 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 collaboration and sharing of uh, information between uh, our, uh, our different countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that, uh, I'd like to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh my God! And now <laughs> it's I have a first to go and get uh, blessing. My taxi. <laughs> <laughs> first blessing. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank so you thank so you much. much. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah, how can you say thank you? Malo abito. Malo abito. Yeah. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> thank you oh, so uh, much. Oh, in, uh, yeah. that's in Tongan, but in Fiji and it's uh, Binaka. Binaka, Binaka. Sawadika, Kapunka. I trust it. <laughs>